the flow rate, the current, is the same at every point. But that tells you that the speed has to be higher where the cross-sectional area is small. The speed goes up, even though the total amount of stuff that flows through every second stayed the same. In fact, the speed went up in the small cross-section so that the total amount of stuff that got through would be the same. If it went through at the same speed in the smaller space, then, some, then stuff would have, not as much stuff would have gone through. And that would have meant, meant stuff would be backing up somewhere. And there's no place for air or anything incompressible to back up. So current is what ends up conserved here because the total amount of matter is conserved. I could say this is conservation of matter. If I throw a bunch of air molecules in one side and the thing is full of air, that's the number that is going to come out the other side. The total number of molecules of air is conserved. Air flows from left to right. At which point is the pressure of the air the smallest? So you'll have to use that. There's no pump. You'll have to think about, well, there is a current. Air is flowing to the right. You know the kinetic energy goes up as you go from one to two, and then back down again as you go from two to three, because two has the highest speed. And gravitational potential energy you have to answer on your own. What do you think? 